Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Chanel B and I'm here with another chill Sunday topic. Okay, so listen, so I thought of a topic that we can all kind of benefit from, right? Whether you're in a relationship, whether you're looking for one, or whether you're planning on dating later on down the line. I think we should discuss three ways that you know that a guy is into you. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button and let's get into it. All right, ladies, so boom. First way that you know, I got my notes written down right here, y'all. So three ways. The first way that you know can tell if a guy is really into you is you're going to know it because he's going to be extremely intentional. Y'all, let me tell you something. I've had experiences with guys that really liked me versus guys who really wasn't that into me. And y'all, when I tell you, it's a significant difference, okay? The guy who is really into you is going to be intentional. So he is going to make plans to take you on a date, make plans to take you out of the country or wherever you want to go for your birthday or something. He is going to be making plans. A guy who is not that into you is going to be like pulling teeth like, okay, can we do this? Can we do this? You're going to be doing a lot of the planning and it's going to seem like it's always based on you when it comes to where you guys go, what you guys do. And he's just kind of just going with the flow. This is a guy who is really not that into you. Now, I want you to take it, put, put in mind that what I'm saying is a guy who's not that into you. Not saying that he's not into you at all, but it's like out of 100%, he is about... 30% into you. You want a guy to be 100% all in, right? Especially because guys are the type of creatures, guys are the type of creatures, they're very like, they can change the way they feel and, 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 and how they deal with you on a day to day basis, right? So with women, we're when our heart is into it, we're like, into it no matter what if we have the title or not. But this is for guys who's not really that into you. It's going to seem like you're making all of the plans. It's going to seem like you're always the one who's putting the best foot forward, who's always, you know, initiating dates, initiating gifts, initiating conversations. So, guys, you're going to know this guy is going to be texting you. He's going to be calling you. He's going to be extremely intentional, making sure you have everything that you need. If you ever want to talk, he's going to be always available for you. Or most of the time, he's going to be available for you. But a guy who is not that into you is going to do the complete opposite. All right. And so for the second way to know if a guy is really into you, he is going to proclaim that he's interested in you. Okay. So. With guys, sometimes guys, uh, they can't really articulate and put into words how they're feeling, right? So a lot of the times a guy doesn't know that he, he knows that he's not feeling you like that, but he doesn't know how to put the words together. He doesn't want to hurt your feelings. He doesn't want to come off too uh, harsh. So a lot of times they just kind of go with the flow, especially if they have some benefits. So... You know what I mean when I say benefits. If there are some benefits related to you, then they're going to stick around. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're into you, but they're going to stay around a little bit longer than what they would have if there was no benefits, right? So the second way you know is a guy normally will, pro he will eventually, sorry, he will eventually proclaim, like he will say out of his mouth that, hey, I want you to be my girlfriend. I want us to move forward. I want us to do this. I want us to do that. And, and he's just going to be making plans. But he's going to show you, a lot of times the guys are going to show you because they're not super, super good with their words like how we are we can put our whatever we're feeling in our heart we can really put it into words with men they are more like they'll they'll show you so the second way is that they'll obviously they'll profess it to you um that they are feeling the way that they're feeling they love you they like you they want to take it to the next level they want you to be them gr their girlfriend they will actually uh verbally express that to you all right, ladies, and for the third way to know if a guy is really into you is he cares about how you feel and doesn't shut down when communicating. You know, when you show emotions, this guy is going to actually care. Y'all, I cannot tell you 
the situations I've been in with guys who care, who, who were into me versus guys who really weren't into me. Y'all, when I tell you, it's like day and night. So for example, if you were to tell a guy like, oh, I had a long day at work. My boss is getting on my nerves, yada, yada, yada. Like you're venting to him, right? And when you start venting to him, he's like, oh man, you know, like I've had a situation like this and this is how I've handled it. And, you know, we want to get together face to face. I remember I had a guy who was very, he was very into me and he'll be like, okay, I'm going to pick you up. We're going to go to dinner. We're going to talk about it over dinner. He just wanted to be around me. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I was feeling like that versus a guy who ain't really care. Ooh, it was embarrassing y'all. He, I remember a guy who did not care like literally you could feel in the pit of your stomach like that's one thing about us ladies we know who we can do certain things with and who we can't because y'all literally you can tell when it's a guy that you could be open with like you can express your emotions with versus a guy that you just know that mm, he's not gonna really care he's not gonna really say anything y'all that's a problem like that's the situation that's an issue in itself if you know for a fact you're going to be expressing how you feel to a guy and you're not feeling your, like your best self and he's not going to care, y'all, that's an issue right there. You should be able to be open and be somewhat emotional when need be with the guy or be vulnerable with the guy that you are seeing or you're together with or you're planning on being together with like that's a that's a big thing because you're not gonna always be smiling and what is that guy gonna do on the day that you're not smiling and you're not laughing he'll be like all right well let me holler at you later like guys <laughs> guys will literally do that y'all like they will literally you'll be on the phone talking and it's almost as if you're talking to yourself y'all i'm getting flashbacks been there done that they won't give you any good counsel it'll be literally like they're not even paying attention they're not even listening guys it'll just you'll just know it and you'll just feel it like this guy don't even care nothing about what i'm talking about and if you feel like that that's, not the tea. that's the truth that's the truth and so um with this third part with this third way of knowing if a guy is really into you when he when you express your feelings and he shows he's, that he cares and he want to make things better for you he want to make things lighter for you he want to give you some steps on what you can do to make y'all i am so sorry my uh camera is about to give out because the storage on it is extremely full right now so let me finish this up real quick so this is what i was saying to you all so you know he is going to make sure that he gives you some great tips and some good counsel so that you can be able to have, so life can be seem a little more manageable for you. And guys, I'm sorry because the, the sun is going down. So with that third, with that third um, tip, guys, with him caring about your emotions and about how you're feeling, he's also not going to shut down when you're communicating this. So y'all shut down looks like this. I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to show y'all exactly what shutting down when someone is expressing their feelings. I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. Hold on. Make sure this is still going. Okay, good. This is exactly what shutting down looks like. Okay, guys, literally this is a true, these are true stories. So I've had a guy who, who I absolutely just making sure this is still going y'all who I absolutely cared about and I absolutely love. This guy lied and said he loved me back. Y'all, he loved me back. Let me tell you what happened. I would say the same thing to him. Like, I would say the exact same thing to him. Like, oh, you know, I'm having some family issues, the second and the third, or I'm having some issues with some friends and I just don't know what to do. I'm feeling overwhelmed, yada, 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 right? Y'all, the boy will literally be on the phone like, oh yeah, for real? Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know about that. Y'all, that is, that's, when I tell you that's the worst feeling in the world, y'all. Like, I'm getting flashbacks just sitting here thinking about it. That's the worst feeling in the world. When you've been uh, poured out your emotions to somebody and they literally do you like that, y'all, it's the worst feeling in the world, let me just tell you. And that guy right there, sis, he is not into you. You better take 
You better take this as a red flags. He's not that into you, right? He could, he could be in 30, 20 or 30%, but at 100% capacity, no. And you want your dude to be all in, okay? Because guys change their mind every every couple of seconds, okay? They see a new booty and they change their mind about you real quick, okay? Thank y'all so much for coming in and chilling with me on Chill Sundays with Chanel B. I hope you enjoyed the topic. Listen, girls, like, listen, do not, for 2022, we play the fool in 2021. In 2022, we just doing way better. Like, we leveling up in all areas of our lives, and that's love, life included okay we get into the bag but we can't get to the bag if we have distractions you understand what i'm saying these men can be absolute distractions they will they will carry you along for the benefits especially like i i mentioned if there are some benefits with being with you they will carry you along and y'all we just do not have time this year for the dead weight so guess what get rid of these guys who are 20 30 percent into you so that you can make room for the guys who are a hundred percent into you all right i hope you guys have fun with me today don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see y'all for the next chill sundays with chanel b mm -hmm.